thank you to God for being your servants coming to you from the Holy Temple Church of the Lord Jesus Christ and the Apostolic Faith. Bishop Elton Green invites you to visit us here at Headquarters Center, located at 2075 Clinton Avenue, Bronx, New York City. Service Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, 7 30 p.m. and Sunday, noon day. Now, in case you're interested in reading Sunday the literature, the mailing address is Bishop Elton Green, P.O. Box 523, Bronx, New York, Zip Code 10457. It will be sent to you for your job. There is no speech, no language, where their voice is not heard. Their line is gone throughout all the earth and the words to the end of the world. To all the bishops, elders, ministers, deacons, brethren, in charge of work, holy greeting to all the saints in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father, from the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank my God upon every remembrance of you always and every prayer of mine for you all make a request with joy for your fellowship in the gospel from the first day unto now. Being confident of this very thing that he which has begun a good work in you will perform it unto the day of Jesus Christ. Our 57th National International Radio Anniversary of the Holy Temple Church of the Lord Jesus Christ will convene the headquarters, 2075 Clinton Avenue, Bronx, New York City, on Monday, October 2nd, and will continue through Sunday, October 8th. Service nightly at 7.30 p.m. Sunday noon day. We will have our 57th annual radio anniversary talent service Saturday, October 7th. Prayer will begin at 6.30 p.m. followed by a talent service. All are welcome. You all have our sincere prayer from out of the depth of our heart with much love and sincerity. I look forward to seeing you all, but if for some reason you cannot attend, do your best in sending a good report to help in these great and needed calls. Make all checks payable to the Holy Temple Church. May the God of all comfort your heart until we meet again. Peace be unto you. I remain yours, continue for the faith. Bishop Belton Green, Apostle, Pastor, and General Receiver. Bishop Melvin Samuel, Assistant Pastor. Now at this time, it is my pleasure to present unto you from the Holy Temple Church of the Lord Jesus Christ. The next point you hear, Bishop Melvin Samuel. And the church will praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord again. Praise the Lord. Lord. Indeed, again, we are bound to give great honor, praise to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. The one who's worthy of all the praise. Indeed, he is worthy of all the honor. We do honor our very own beloved Bishop and Apostle, our beloved Bishop Hamilton Green. Thank you for coming here always. Thank you for again for being allowed with this privilege. Come before you all in Raiderland, filling in his stead once more Great to declare God. God one and only true plan of salvation. Indeed, we are very happy. We are very thankful for what the Lord is doing among us within these lost and evil days. Amen. Thanking God the Lord is doing a mighty work. And we are very, we are very glad about it. Thanking God the word of God said, the highest himself yes. shall establish it. Yes. So we thank God, we know Amen. this is God Almighty doing the work. And I'm thanking God, said this is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. When God do a work, it is well done. Thanking God for seeing our young people coming on back to God, make my heart rejoice to see our young ones. God give them a mind to return, come on and back. My God says, God is a mighty God. Yes, he and is. I'm very happy and rejoicing, yes. thinking of all the few week, uh, a week or so we got. One got baptized and four of our young ones came back to God. So it's a lot to praise God for. We have a lot to thank God for. The word of God stated in Isaiah 35, and Isaiah 35, and 10, uh, I'm glad to see what the Lord is doing. Yeah. It is the Lord's doing. God giving them a mind to come on back. 
Thank in God, no way the devil can hold God's people. This is what the word of God said. And the righteous of the Lord shall return. The right, they come and the Holy Ghost said they shall return. Praise God. God said they shall return. Shall return. The righteous son with son. God, the devil is a liar. He can't hold God's people. Say they shall return. Yes. They shall return. And come to Zion with song. With song. And everlasting joy. My God, we have a lot of joy here tonight. I sit back and make me rejoice. Watching them rejoicing and praising God. Fulfilling the word of God. Say with joy. Yes. We have a lot of joy over here. We have a lot of joy. The people of God praising God. And I'm thanking God for the fasting and praying. Thank God you know, hear the saints rejoicing. Ready for every good work. Thank God for the word of God. Says such thing only going out. But by prayer and fasting. And I'm thank God giving us a mind tonight over here. Thanking God we are still continuing our fast. Thank God going on and choose it from 6 in the morning, 6 in the evening, 12 hours, and Friday night, all night prayer. So I'm thanking God for what the Lord is doing among us. The word of God stated in Isaiah 58 and verse 6. Isaiah 58 and verse 6. This is what the word of God is. It's a blessing when you do it according to God's word. Amen. You can look for result. Amen. You can look for victory. All you got to do, do it according to God's word. Somebody got to return to God. Amen. So the Bible says in Isaiah chapter 58 and 6, Is not this the fast that I have chosen? Is not this the fast that I have chosen? And I I have chosen and lose the man of wickedness. I got the, the devil is a liar. Yes. Somebody gonna break loose to lose the man of wickedness. The man of wickedness. On you heavy birds. Ah, God can undo it. Ain't no condition that God can undo. Amen. You know, God can, I don't care what it is, God got the power to undo it. Yeah. God is greater than man. I don't care what you're facing. Just remember, God can undo that problem. Listen to what the word of God says. It's not just the fact that I've chosen. Read on. To lose the man of wickedness. To lose the man of wickedness. To undo heavy burdens. My God, I'm, I'm glad for what the Lord is doing among us. Soul breaking loose and coming on back to God. What? And do heavy burden. God's gonna undo it. All you gotta do, beloved, just acquaint yourself with God. Yes. God will fix that thing when you God. to undo heavy burden. I don't care what it is, God got the power to undo it. To undo the heavy burden and to let the oppressed go free. Let the oppressed go free. And that he break every yoke. So God can break that thing. I don't care what it is. Just keep on praying. Amen. Just keep on fasting. Amen. God got the power to break it. Yes. You better get me Job chapter 22 and verse 21. Yes. All you want to do, yes, acquaint now yes, yourself with him. Yes. Still, just, you know, the more, the more you know about God, my God, you know, the, the, the more confidence you have in him. You know, the one thing, people try to acquaint themselves with a lot of natural figures out there. Well, before I got saved, I tried my best. I quit, I acquaint myself with a lot of worldly figures out there. Wearing a shirt, the name, take the pictures, world leaders. Acquaint myself with them. But let me tell you, you can't acquaint with a better one than when you get acquainted with God. I God ever since I get acquainted with Jesus, so I just sing a song. I haven't found no one 
like Jesus. No one, no one like him. The word said, I pray now. I pray now myself. You know, everybody needs to do all in your power to get acquainted with, acquainted with God. Yes. Do all in your power, beloved, to know God. Acquaint now. Acquaint now thyself with him. Thyself with him. And be at peace. Be at peace. Praise God. Be done. Thereby good shall come unto thee. Good shall come unto thee. Praise God. Get acquainted with God. Be done. Receive, I pray thee. Receive, I pray thee. All from his mouth. My God, when you can receive God's word, you are blessed. And when you can receive God's word, yes. you are blessed the Lord. Receive. Receive, I pray thee. I pray thee. The law from his mouth. The law from his mouth. And lay up his words in thy heart. Lay, lay up his word in thy heart. Lay up his word. When trouble comes, my God, it will help you go through that test. Amen. Is that our word, O oh Lord? Have I hidden my heart? You got to lay up, lay up his word. That's it. Whatever you're going through, hold God's word. Yeah. I don't care what it is, hold God's word. That's You've it. got to come out with the victory. Go on to the, uh, in Job chapter 33 and verse 12. My God, hold God's word, beloved. You never go down. Holding on to God's word, Praise you God. got to come out. Yes. I believe as a child of God coming out. Why? Because hold God's word. Listen what the word of God says. Behold, behold, it is thou not just. You're gonna come up against a lot of people that's not just. Praise God. But God is a just God. In this, thou art not just. Thou art not just. I will answer thee. Read on. That God is greater than man. Saints, just remember. Oh, yes. You can't acquaint with a better one than when you are acquainted with God. He is greater. Greater than man. He is greater than man. Praise God. Read on. Why do thou strive against him? Who want to go up against a God like this? I see why David said the fool has said in his heart that there is no God. Ain't nobody want to go up a God against a God like this. Amen. Read on. Why do not strive against Why are you going to strive against your maker? Please, God, Read on. We give you not account of any of his matters. You see, God don't have to give account to no man. That's it, I was on my knees praying tonight and I thought about it and I got so happy on my knees how great God is. Amen. My God said the Lord search at all heart. He don't have to come ask nobody permission. Can I search him? He search all hearts. He don't have to go ask the leader. He don't have to ask no, no, no world leaders. He search the world leaders out. God don't have to ask permission, but no man can I search. That's why I feel like shouting right now when I think about the God that we serve. He's greater than men. He don't have to ask no permission to search whose heart he want to search. He search all heart. Listen what the word of God says. Well, God speak at once. God speak at once. Yeah, twice. He don't want to give a counter. You know, sometimes I hear, oh, here come hurricane, earthquake. How many thousand die? And he don't have to go and give a counter to nobody. You know what he said? He, he don't want to give account to nobody. Yes, One thing he let you know what he do. Yes, and he don't have to give account. He saying Deuteronomy 32, 39. Yes, this is what God said. Who wouldn't fear a God like this? You know, uh, uh, every, everybody need to fear a God like this. Yes, leaders. Yes. World leaders. You need to fear God. Everybody needs to fear God and humble themselves under the mighty hands of God. God don't have to give account to no man. Okay. Listen what the word See now. See now. That I. That I. Either I. Even I. I. 
I am here. And there is no God with me. There is no God with me. I kill. Listen to what God says. I kill. I kill. I make a lie. I make a lie. I run and I hear. I wound and I hear. He is there any that can deliver out of my hand. No. Wait a minute. Neither. He do all these things. I'm going back to Job. Turn the tree and verse 13. Yes. Read Why did I describe against him? Why you want to go up against someone like this? Read on. We give it that account of any of his life. He said, I kill. Yes, I wound. I wound. Yes, and I heal. And I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. He no. killed and he make a lie. And the thing about God is so great, saying he don't have to give account to no man for any of his actions. All you have to do, and most time they hurricane, earthquake, tornado, and all people who send in relief. You're not going to question You can't question God. He don't have to give account to no man. Because he said, all flesh is gross. He don't have to give account to no man. Amen. Listen. Yes, Get the Job 12 now and 10. Let me narrow it down. That's why who, who wouldn't want to acquaint yourself with a God like this? Amen. I'm so glad to know a God like this. He don't have to give account to no man. Read on. In whose hand is the soul of every living thing? Every living. He got Jeez. Every living thing oh, yeah. is in his hand. Yes. Read on. And the breath of all mankind. All mankind. Praise God. Read on. Not the end of try work. Hallelujah. Not the soul of every living thing and the breath of all mankind. So it's a blessing when you can acquaint. What is that? Yeah. Acquaint now. Everybody out there, if you don't know God, you better hurry up. Try to know God. Try to get on God's side. Wherever you are out there, you better try your best. You don't have to give account. He can take the bread of life from you. And he don't have to give account to no man. You better fear God. Somebody need to fear God right now. Somebody out there haven't yet been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sin. When they heard this, they were pricking the heart, said unto Peter, yes. as to the rest of the apostles, yes. men and brethren, yes. what shall we do? Yes. Peter said unto them, yes. repent yes. and be baptized. Yes. Every one of you in the name, in of, the name of Jesus Christ. For the remission of sin. The remission of sin. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. He shall receive Give up the Holy Ghost. I got some. You see, you can't get away from God, below. He said in Proverbs chapter 15 and the third verse. What is it? The eyes of the Lord. Where are his eyes are? In where? His eyes yes. are in not some place. His eyes and you can't stop him from looking at you. My God, I don't care how great you feel you are, sir. You better humble yourself because the eyes of the Lord are in every place. In every place? In every place. In every place. In every place. Beholding the evil and the good. God looking at the one doing evil. Amen. And he looking at the one doing good. Amen. You can't get away from God. His eyes is in every place. Beholding the and evil and nobody going to get away from God. I thank God for being around the praying people. Thank God for being around saved people. My God, you know God get joy. He said in pride of the upright. That's in Proverbs 15 and 8. What is it? The pride of the upright. Send those prayers up, saints. Keep on sending those prayers up. Of the upright. The sacrifice of the wicked is abomination. The sacrifice of the wicked is abomination to the Lord. God says he ain't getting nothing out of that. So when you make many prayers, he won't hate you. Amen. 
is abomination to the Lord. To the Lord. But the prayer of the upright is his delight. God get in the light yeah. out of our pride. Yeah. The pride of the of upright is his delight. God, we're going on back again and bow and knees before God. All right, beloved, you better call us up. Write to us, you that are out there. I'm telling you, don't stay out there now. The prodigal son came to himself and humbled himself and come on back. We have two came back today. God is doing a mighty work. And God, you know, I'm happy for the ones coming back. Don't stay out there, you know. The devil purpose is to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But if we can break loose, I'm going on back home. I'm going on back to my people. My God, I'm encouraging all of you. Don't stay out there. Humble yourself. Just humble yourself and come on back. Come on back. Have a brother travel over 100 miles. Call me up. Bishop, what's the matter? I want to come on back home. I want to come on home. God bless you. God keep you. Call us up. Write to us. We'll be back next week, Lord's willing, the same station, same hour, the same day. You can call us at 718-584-0691. International caller can call us via us at, at 803-518-5454. You may also visit us on the web at www.theholytemperatures.net. Again, you can visit us on the web at www.theholytemperatures.net. Until then, may God richly bless. Bless your soul. So glad I know who Jesus is. Who Jesus is.
to know me, oh Lord. To see if you find anything in me that shouldn't be, Lord. In the deep source, when he said, Lord, create in me, oh Lord. Give me a clean heart, Lord. I bring you a right spirit. Give me a new heart, Lord. Something here not right, but I want you to take it out. You, you know when you get acquainted with someone, you can talk to them. You have confidence. Say, this is the confidence that we have in him. That if we ask anything according to his will, how he hear us? You get confidence. You say, mm -hmm. it's me again, Lord. Hear me, Lord. Why do you say, I've got a problem. I need a David said, God, in thee, O Lord, do I put my trust. Lord, you know I'm trusting you, Lord. Don't let me be put to shame. Don't let me be put to confusion. I acquaint myself with you. You know you got to get acquainted with God. Then he said, after you get acquainted, he said, come boldly before the throne of grace so you can find help. That is able to help you in the time of need. But get acquainted with God, beloved. Saints of God, get acquainted with God. Amen. When you trust you and God alone, ah, you're going by a, what a beautiful ah, fellowship. Yeah. You are on your way to work, oh, yeah. and your way to school, oh, yeah. and your yeah. way to the job. Oh, you yeah. are God there. Communion oh, yeah, with the Lord. Yeah, yeah. Just communion. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God, just be a God. Yeah. What a very good yeah. fellowship. Oh, yeah. And we want you to break that fellowship. Oh, you, yeah. you, 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 you know that in, uh, Adam, Adam and Eve, God used to give them a special visit. Yeah. And you yeah. cool up the yeah. Yeah. God used to, you want to feel a visit yeah. of God. Yeah. You ought to be looking for it. Lord, they Joe said, I feel after it. If happened, you're gonna find a well back word. He will, but keep on feeling. Then he said, He's in one mind. He know the way you think. You want you want that visit. Maybe it's at midnight. Maybe it's three o'clock in the morning. You roll out your bed. Hallelujah. I acquaint myself with it. I don't know, but I feel, Lord, I need you, Lord. I need, I need that visit, Lord. Come see about me, Lord. Come see about me, Lord. You know, Lord. Come lift this weight off me, Lord. Come on, Jesus. Come on, Jesus. Come on, listen what the word of God said. Thou Solomon. Thou Solomon, son. My son. Know thou the God of thy father. Know the God of thy father. Serve him with a perfect heart. Go on it with a perfect heart. With a willing mind. Go on it with a willing mind. For the Lord searches all the heart. How many hearts? All oh, hearts. So David said, search me, O Lord. Yeah. Know me. See if you find anything there. Oh, Remove Lord. every blockage. Everything, every hand around. Tell God, say, what is it? I pray now. Yes. Don't yes. break that fellowship. If, if you break, feel after it. Mm. David tell God, Lord, remember David. Have mercy upon David. Remember me, Lord. I need help, Lord. Tell God, you know what God said? His covenant, he won't break. He said, I'll make a covenant with David and I won't break it. And I will not have that word that thou God. God's going to stand by his word, saints. All you got to do, just stay away now. Yourself? Acquaint now thyself with him. The trouble is going to come. But when you get acquainted, you know what Paul said? We glory. Why are you so happy? Because I know we can. I'm going to something now. And I have to share a few things. We've been made to for a night. But I'm looking for my morning. He coming to see about me. I don't know when, I don't know when, but he's coming. He won't leave me here alone. I believe he's coming. Tell God, come see about your child, Lord. I'm here waiting at you, Lord. I might have to shed a few tears, but that's all right. He doesn't see him. He said, I won't leave you nor forsake you, so that you may boldly say that Lord is my helper. I don't care what it is. Hold God, saints. 
I pray now. I pray now, God. It's good when you know God. When you know God, yes, sir. you're going to go through your trouble. Yes. But you start rejoicing. Yes, sir. Somebody say, what are you rejoicing about? All that test you're going through, all that trouble? Yes. Because I'm coming out. Somebody said, don't wait till the battle is over. I'm going to shout right now. I'm rolling in tribulation. What you said, Paul, but we glory. Not only, not only so. I'm getting joy out of my trouble. I'm getting joy. I'm going through this test, but I still have joy. After all the things I've been through, I still have joy. You know, it's working something out for you. It's working patient. Experience. Experience hope. Hope. And hope make it not a shame. God ain't going to make you a shame. My God. Turn David tell God, Lord, come see him, Lord. Don't let me never be put to shame. Don't let me ashamed. Yeah. God ain't going to let you ashamed. Your way of escape is already made. Your way of escape. Is already made, say, all you got to do, hold your confidence in God. Not only so. Somebody get in joy out your trouble. Somebody get in joy. He that searches the heart. Yes. Know it. Yes. He know the mind of this. He make it. He dear me, he done pray for me. He said, Lord, I'm not praying for these only, but I'm praying for the one coming on behind. Believe in me, through the word. Hold God, saints. Hold God. Not only so. And not only so. Why? Why we glory in tribulation. Why your glory? Knowing that tribulation. Because I don't acquaint myself with him. And I know this test I'm going through, it will turn. If I'm going through, you go in true, but it's not going to be like that always. You know what Paul said? I know. What you know, Paul? That this shall turn. God going to turn it. It won't be like that always. Just acquaint yourself with it. Just say, Lord, you yeah, I'm in the waiting room. I'm waiting on you. I'm waiting on you. Come see about your child. Lord. God, God is have a set time. He have a set time. Yes. Your way of escape is already made. He have a set time. Yes. He's going to give you just like he used to go in the cool of the day. What a, what a life. Sir. That's why the devil don't want you to, to, to enjoy that uh, with fellowship with God. He went, he, the Adam, they got it made in the cool of the day. Here come God. What a blessing, saints. You know, uh, no, he said, I'm going to dwell in you. I'm going to be in you. I'm going to be your God. I'm greater than he that is in you. And so you can expect him. He in us now. The great God is in us. You can wait. You can feel something springing up. You say, I'm coming out. That's my victory. Spring it up. Father God, he said, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be there with you. I'm going to be a well of water. Spring it up. God bless you. God bless you.